Welcome to the demonstration of NetSuite reporting. In this video, we will demonstrate NetSuite reporting, KPIs, and drill down capabilities. So here we're looking at a dashboard for a controller, in this case, Carol Morgan, where she's able to see consolidated information, including the subsidiary navigator, which allows her to see information both for the parent company and for each of the child entities here. So right now, our dashboard is reflecting information from the parent, so everything is automatically consolidated. But we can easily drill into one of these child entities. So if I click on that US1 entity, the dashboard updates, and everything now reflects only what is coming from that one entity. We can just as easily go back to the parent company. And now we're able to see consolidated information again on our dashboard where uh, we can quickly and easily get to consolidated financial reports and drill from there into the detailed transaction information. So let's take a look at how easy it is to do that. If we look at our key performance indicators here, we can drill into any of these indicators to find out more information. We're going to start by looking at the profit number. For the current month, this 354,000. So I can just click on that number and it will take me into a PL that rolls up to that 354,000 with all the detailed accounting for each uh, account over here on the left. Now, because of the way that the general ledger is segmented in NetSuite, it's easy for me to slice and dice this report or any report by a number of different segments starting with business channel. So if I just click on that and then hit refresh, I'm able to now see that same 354,000, but not, but now it's segmented out into my different business channels. So I can see how I'm doing in my stores versus my Amazon sales, my e-commerce and my walmart.com. So this caters very well to uh, today's omni-channel retailers that most likely have a number of different businesses. Another way I could segment this is based on accounting period. Maybe I wanna choose a different base uh, time period. So we could go to last fiscal year, for example, refresh this. Uh, now I'm looking at a P&L for last fiscal year by account. Uh, let's say I'm looking at my salaries and wages account there and I see it jumped up in December and I wanna know more information about that 98,000. I can just click on that number and drill down into the entries that made up that number. And I can continue to drill here to see even more detailed information. So if I click on that 54,000, I go into that uh, journal entry and now I can see down to the debits and credits, all the numbers that made up that journal entry. And I can even click into the communication tab here and see that we've got notes from a senior management meeting where we approved a new inventory manager position for the e-commerce business. So I can quickly and easily answer detailed questions that I have uh, just looking at the, the high level information on my reports. Now, another challenge that uh, we hear quite frequently is the ability to uh, spend time analyzing information from the business as opposed to busy work running reports that need to be run on a, on a regular basis. So if we go back into that income statement, I'll show you how NetSuite can help you to overcome that challenge. Down in the bottom right-hand corner here is a little calendar icon. If we click on that, NetSuite is just gonna ask us if we want to run this report on a regular cadence. So if I just click more than once there, say I wanna run that report every Friday. Now I can just select a list of recipients, spin up a message to go out with that report, hit save, and now NetSuite is going to run that report for me every, every Friday without me having to lift a finger. So really automates your reporting to make sure that you're not spending your precious time running reports that your software could be running for you. One more thing I wanted to show you while we're here is the ability that you have to export your reports from NetSuite out into Excel 
or as a PDF or Word document. So if we export to Excel and grab that report, I want to show you something that I find very helpful, and that is uh, the fact that when you export a report to Excel, the formulas are maintained. So you're not only looking at uh, hard-coded values in your export there, but you're able to still see exactly where the numbers came from. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and talk about some other reports. And for that, I'm gonna go into another role here. So I'm gonna go from my controller role over into my inventory manager role. We're gonna take a look at some inventory reports and some other things that you can do within reporting in NetSuite. So now we're seeing an inventory dashboard here. And if I drill down to my reports overview, you can see some of the hundreds of reports that are pre-configured for you out of the box. These are specifically for an inventory manager. So if we go into this current inventory snapshot, you know, one of the things that we hear is that reports and other systems are often very difficult to customize. Uh, so for example, this current inventory snapshot, we've got a lot of white space here. It's not very easy to read, but we can change that in NetSuite very quickly. So if I just click on uh, the view here, I can go into a grid, which is gonna make it a little easier to follow those uh, lines going across. And now if we go to the customize button down here at the bottom, you can see how easy it is to do some other customizations. So we were looking at, at that inventory by location. So if we go into our filters tab here, I can take away some of those locations that didn't have any inventory. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna choose a few locations that we actually wanna see. We're gonna choose Fredericksburg, Houston, and Dallas. Now, if we go preview those changes, we can see that we've gotten rid of a lot of our white space and we're just viewing our current inventory snapshot for those locations that we selected, Fredericksburg, Houston, and Dallas. So very easy to customize reporting inside of NetSuite. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of our other inventory reports or inventory turnover report, for example. We've got a merchandise hierarchy inside of NetSuite, which allows you to easily set up multiple levels. In this case, we've got categories, men's, women's, and kids, and subcategories here for each of those categories. Now you can have up to four hierarchies configured uh, to be able to uh, have this on as many levels as you want. And you can even drill down into the item level detail there. But as we're looking at the inventory turnover here, we can see our turnover rate by category and subcategory. So we can see we're doing better in jackets than we are in pants and shirts. And you can see this same type of category, subcategory breakdown in an inventory profitability report. So here's an inventory profitability report where we're able to see uh, total cost, total revenue, and gross profit percentage and dollars at the category, subcategory, and even down to the item level. So here we can see again, we're doing much better in jackets than we are in pants and shirts, which tells me we probably need to make some changes in the way that we are setting up our pricing. Uh, in some of those categories. So NetSuite really exposes the information that you need to make important business decisions and make sure that you're able to run your business in the most profitable manner possible. Now, one final uh, thing that I wanna show you is the ability that you have to see reporting for not only your inventory and financials, but also your customers in the same system without having to go into a separate CRM CRM system. So let's go into our sales manager role, for example, someone that might be dealing more directly with customers. And we can see the information that he's got on his dashboard, but also the reporting behind the scenes. So if we go into the reports overview, again, we can see uh, dozens of reports that customer reports that he's got available 
including this customer profitability summary report where we can see by customer, total cost, total revenues, or whatever time period we want to look at. And again, we can drill down into this report to see not only uh, detailed transaction information, but also detailed customer information for each of our customers. So here's the detailed transaction information. If we go back to the summary, we can click through to an individual customer straight from that report to see the detailed customer information on the customer master record here. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.